I have a 57 international. Um, right now it's on a custom frame and it's a rolly so we can move it around. And uh, we have a 50 or no, 32 for grill. And the back is 54 inch. It's a bed and we're going to make a custom bed. For the engine, it's a 390 big block. Uh, we're gonna put a 32 for front end with all the axles, and then at, over there, there's a dump truck tankage that we're gonna put in. Maybe. We're going to try to make it new and then on the outside we're going to get all the old paint and then we're going to put the... We're going to design the only inside look like a bomber jet. Yeah. So we have a bomber, bomber jet or bomber plane theme. Yeah. So how old are you? 15. You even got a driver's license? No. Even got a permit? No. <laughs> but you're already building a hot rod. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so what's your timeline? When do you think you can have it done? Uh, around when I was 16 or during the summer. Well, how long is it set in this state? Wow. Or no, this is actually this is actually four wheel drive because that's the front end. Stuff. So we took two scramblers, cut them in half, welded them back together. We're making it four wheel drive. Again, we're making it independent rear. To, the reason we did it to get an independent rear that's the size of Kyle's head right now. And we're going to try to get rear steer. And this is where you would touch it. Be like, we're going to try to hook up the rear steer when we get done. We're using Polaris Ranger suspension to give us wider, mm -hmm. and we're actually going to stretch it about eight to ten inches. So that's when you're like, this is the Ranger front hub off of a Ranger, Polaris Ranger, 500, 570, whatever they're called. You know, you can grab it and do like this, and. The goal with this is to make us a monster four-wheeler. We're going to try to put it on like 35-inch tires, 34, 35-inch tires. We're putting a Honda 400 motor in it if we can get it in there and get it running. That's the other dilemma I'm having right now on how to make that motor run outside of a Honda frame. Uh, and then what we got here in the back, go this way. I don't know how the sun's going to react with this, so we might have to always film more this way. Well, get over here, the camera. What year is it? 54? 1954 station wagon. You know what motor's in it? No. It's a Buick 455. Yeah. Which right now we're having problems with a manifold. This manifold won't fit around this steering, so we might go sacrilegious and drop a Ford motor in it because we got like four of them in the other garage. Uh, what's the goal with this one, Kyle? The goal with this one is, is to get it, we're not even going to paint it. We're going to get it roadworthy, safe, and that's it. Put modern brakes. We might change the front end. We're trying to not spend as much money on this. But the rear end is going to get changed out to a Ford 8.8 .8 rear end with the disc brakes. And I'm probably going to try to go just a simple two link in the rear for suspension. And we might end up doing airbags, doing airbag suspension on it. But the goal is to spend as little money as possible on this one just to get it back out on the road. Because we just, we all think it's cool the way it is with the patina that's on it. So 
hot rod, rat rod, whatever you want to call it. It's just going to, we would like to put the LS in it, but we just ain't got the budget for that. So what's up with this one, Kyle? Why is this one sitting here all apart? Because I play video games and don't work in the garage. Well, what's wrong with it? Did we get it running? Does it run? What do you mean you don't know? Yes, it runs. Our goal with this one, it's a, it's a Polaris Trail Boss 325 two-wheel drive. So when we bought all the scrambler parts back there, when we bought all of those those two scramblers and cut them in half and did all we come up, we ended up with a bunch of full-wheel drive parts. So basically, the transmission that was in this one was broke. It's sitting around here somewhere in pieces. It might be in the actual trailer but it was broke. So with the Polaris Scrambler full-wheel drive transmission, we're gonna put in here, and then essentially convert this to full-wheel drive. It does run. We gotta order a gas tank, a carburetor, and a belt cover. It's the major parts that we know right now that we, can, we have to order because of all the other stuff out of the other four-wheeler that we got, we have all those parts. The gas tank has got a big split in it or we would just milk jug welded back together but uh this would be if we had all the parts we could probably have this one running in like two days but the reason we haven't really worked on it because we want to start using this in our youtube videos and this is going to be our first series in our youtube videos is putting this one back together so we're going to end up ordering the parts in the next couple days the major parts that we know get it all put back together, get it tested, get it running, probably enjoy the rest of the summer with it if we can get it done before summer's over and tear it down this winter and put all new bearings and stuff in it, probably repaint it and then get it ready for next summer. But uh, that's about it. We need to go inside and test our audio and see where it's at. Who are you? Luca. Are you going to use your man voice? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. You have to use your man voice. Do you know anything about these projects? Kind of. No. <laughs> Alright. Grab the computer. 